Today, Medical Monday, detox is a huge buzzword these days, but what can it really do for your health, and how can it help you balance your hormones? Here to explain, welcome back, Dr. Stephen Hotze with Hotze Health and Wellness Center. Thank you, Deborah. All right, detox is a big word, but we're exposed to so many things every day that we're not even aware of. Uh, one is toxins through almost everything we do. Okay, and that, so detox means removing toxins. Why do you need to detox? You have toxins in your system, <clears throat> and toxins, by definition, are poisons. And where do we get them? Well, in the air that we breathe, they're being spewed out of the cars and out of the smokestacks, all kinds of petrochemical products, toluene, styrene, you name it. Uh, in the food that we eat, look on the packaged food, and it's got a list of chemicals. Those are all toxins that are being put in your food. In, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the soda waters we drink, you know, we have all kinds of sugar, uh, sugar substitutes that are chemicals, spartane being one. Uh, the, the, the things we touch. The every, creams we slap yeah. on our bodies, all full of chemicals. And your body has to detoxify those chemicals. Dealing with a few of those chemicals is one thing, but we have our bodies under attack because right. we're dealing with a lot of and things. And so you, the detox organ is the liver is mm -hmm. the detox organ. And what you have to do is you have to have a good healthy liver. To have a good healthy liver, you have to have vitamins and minerals for the detoxification reactions. You have two types of, de you have two different detox reactions and they require vitamins, certain specific vitamins and minerals. Now, if you're not eating well, as most Americans know, we eat a highly processed food diet with everything in a can or bag or box so we're not getting vitamins and minerals what happens is the toxins then build up in your cells and in your system and if we if we took anybody in the audience any of the listeners and we sampled their fat cells or their red blood cells for toxins we would all have toxins some more than others the more toxins you have the greater the toxic load and that makes your cells sick and when your cells get sick, you get disease. Yeah. So then you get heart disease, you get cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, you get uh, dege dege the door. degenerative arthritis, Alzheimer's disease, multiple sclerosis, the whole yeah. plethora of disease. Almost all of us probably should detox, but what are the signs that you are in the moment where you really need to take that seriously? Well, if you live in, uh, if you live in the world today, <laughs> you need to be on a detox program. We know this because they studied Alaskan Eskimos, the mother's milk. They find chemicals in the mother's milk that aren't anywhere in a thousand miles wow. around, but they are carried in the air and in the water and the food that they eat, the fish have it. So they get toxins in their body. Yeah. If you live in American Western society, we have a high load of toxins and it causes these problems. Here's what happens. So, you, so what do you have? You've got heart disease or high blood pressure, you've got diabetes, you're fatigued, you can't think clearly, you don't sleep well, you have mood swings. Sounds have, like hormones so, under attack. Yeah, well, it does. Now, the interesting thing, the petrochemicals that we, when we drink them in, in plastic cups, you've got petrochemicals. When you get those into your system, they disrupt the hormones. Mm. They're hormone disruptors. They're called environmental endocrine disruptors hormone disruptors. So what you want to do is you don't want to disrupt the hormones in your body, but you have the chemicals. You've got to detoxify. Yeah. Now, how do you... Oftentimes we've talked about with the hormones, we talk about it happening, an imbalance happening just as you get older it or does. during pregnancy, it... but there's all kinds of other times that you just mentioned. That's right. And by the way, I should mention that the heavy metals are also a problem. Mercury that we have in the fillings in our teeth, aluminum from the pots and pans that we <laughs> have, lead in the environment, all these disrupt hormones. And so... Yes, as we age, our hormone levels decline, but if we have, if we have a, a heavy load of toxins, it's going to be even worse on us, and that's why some people, I, I've seen this in, in uh, just to give you an example, a young man came at 28 years of age, he was in the pesticide business, he sprayed mm. pesticides. Guess what? His testosterone level was in the gutter at 28. Why? Because it, it had been disrupted by the chemicals that were in his system, he, so you have to detoxify. Yeah, because those hormones are important to, with our immune system, they protect us from disease, so if you strip those down, right, then, you're that, gonna... then you're open to disease. What can we do today, like right now, what can we do to make First a change? First thing you do, clean up your eating process program and eat whole foods organically grown foods vegetables eat eat your fruits that's really important and I'd, I'd really consider eliminating or dramatically decreasing your red meats because guess what all the toxins mm. get put in well they spray these animals with all kinds of insecticides yeah. and, the, and they get injected with hormones right, all that, and that gets into your system and then get on a good vitamin and mineral program the key detox are magnesium vitamin C 
uh, alpha lipoic acid and glutathione particularly, but a good B complex. But you need to be on a good vitamin and mineral program to help your body have the ability in the liver to detox. By the way, when you go to the doctor and you got all these problems, what they what they want to do is give you more toxins. You get more drugs, which make you yeah, sicker quicker. Medicate the symptoms as you're opposed to you're giving more toxins, and so you get you're getting the uh, you get sicker quicker. So the solution for all the health problems is not more drugs, more toxins, which are poisons, and literally drugs are poisons, yeah. they have to be detoxified. You've got to get those out of your system and detoxify your body Nourish naturally. Nourish your body so your body can do what it was God, made to do. God has, God has given the body amazing restorative powers and recuperative powers. If you'll just put the right molecules in your body, your body will heal itself. All right, you are what you eat. Everyone in today's studio, by the way, is, today's studio audience is going home with a copy of Dr. Hodsey's new book, Hypothyroidism, Health and Happiness. It explains everything about, uh, about the hormones and how to get them balanced. Visit thyroidanswer.com slash GDH to order your copy from home. You can join Dr. Hotsey also for his wellness symposium, Beauty from the Inside Out, Saturday, May 3rd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. It will be held at the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center in Katy. You must register. Please visit Hotsey HWC to do so today. And for more information on Hotsey Health and Wellness Center, call 888-473-5531, 888 888-473-5531 and start feeling good. And don't forget to log on to Facebook and let us know your opinion on vaccinations and the recent outbreaks we've seen of measles and mumps across the country. Is there a connection with the anti-vaccine movement or is this just a mere coincidence of more and more people bringing these diseases in from other countries where access to vaccinations is not as easy? We'll share some of your comments later on in the show. April showers bring May flowers, but they also bring more allergies. Achoo! How to beat them and breathe more more easily next. Attention.